Hey, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and partner at Westfold. And today I am talking about JavaScript frameworks or frameworks in general. So today I've got a new section called Tech Lead Response 2. And basically what it is is I go on to LinkedIn or whatever medium there is and respond to some of the comments out there in the world. So today, I've got this comment saying, JavaScript frameworks and libraries are highly overrated. Not using them will make you a better developer. Okay, what exactly is a framework? What's the benefit? What's the drawback of a framework? So first of all is security problems, okay? So um, if you're using a front-end JavaScript framework, right? There is no security, no security. The whole thing is on your um, browser. So anyone can just open it and decompile it and see all your code sitting down there. It's, that's what a front-end framework does. So that's just nonsense. Whether you're using plain old JavaScript or framework, just as insecure, just as easy to read. Uh, it's like HTML. Uh, second point, right? Okay. This is another misconception. If you're doing a front-end, it's all going to sit on your browser and use up, it doesn't really use up much power actually. And it doesn't even use your CPU, it uses the client side CPU. So that's not really true. Uh, finally, the last, if you're using a JavaScript framework, some of them are bad, okay? Some of them are just absolutely rubbish, like Angular or React, where they start hoarding things. And he does make a very good point about all the plugins that are associated with the JavaScript network, um, framework. But let's now switch on to why, three reasons why you should use a framework, any kind of framework. The first one that I think is really important is consistency. This is something that usually if you're not a tech lead, you don't know, but if you're running a team of people, running let's say three people, you don't want three types of JavaScript uh, ways that they're written. You want some sort of consistency across, you want some sort of variables where things are, especially JavaScript where it can appear anywhere in the script, anywhere in the page. So uh, frameworks give a form of uh, opinionated design, which is very useful when you're managing a team. Not only that, this opinionated design is not just a team of three people or five people, it's opened up to everybody else in the business. And they're looking at it saying, is this the best way of doing something? So in that way, frameworks are very useful. <clears throat> second way, second point of frameworks is productivity. Now, even if you started a project using plain old JavaScript, after you finish, you've done your controllers, you've done your layouts and all that, no matter what, it becomes a sort of quasi framework, okay? And it's such a waste if you're only gonna build one project with that same uh, quasi framework and just throw it away after that. There are a lot of parts they can reuse and for other projects. So this is where the productivity comes on. You don't need to build uh, reusable components that you're gonna use in many projects. The JavaScript frameworks, especially front end, Vue.js especially, I love it, have all these things packed in there already. So you already have your two-way model binding. You already have certain layouts and certain um, you know, directives that are available to you when you use this. So why reinvent the wheel 10 times? Just because you wanna go first principles. It doesn't really make sense. For frameworks that are more in depth, especially E2, right? You have things like string helper, array helper, um, even something that I just discovered, uh, what do you call, pretty URL and slug uh, helper, that all packed out um, classes that are ready for you to use. So your productivity is much higher when you use a framework. No matter what you're gonna do, you will be creating some form of framework. Okay, so that's the second reason. The third reason, right, is community. Community is very, very important when you're building software. So <clears throat> if you went and did plain old JavaScript and you ran into a problem, right? Uh, something very uh, remote problem. What is the chance that you're gonna actually going to find somebody to talk to that has experienced that problem? You can go on to Git and get, go on to Stack Overflow and you'll most likely find somebody else in the community 
who has experienced this problem. And that's one of the benefits of frameworks, in that someone else has experienced that kind of problem. Uh, believe me, I've been, uh, even though I'm the tech lead, even though these are my core, I'm still Googling certain problems, certain issues. And if someone has done that, you just go out, pluck that thing in, put it in, bang, you're ready to go. So there's a good argument for using frameworks, okay? Now, I'm going to go on a little bit more and add to this point about the negative points of frameworks when you start using a bazooka to kill an ant. So a good example, I know on this channel, you know, I've never been independent. I will just say what I want to say. Uh, take a look at Angular, <coughs> which stuffs non-stop amount of, uh, you know, pork. <laughs> what do you call this? Uh, uh, they call it ham, lots of ham, lots of spam inside their application. This is where frameworks start to be counterproductive. If you have to set, build a bazooka to kill an ant, small problem, using big amount of software, using big amount of contacts, it's not very productive. So this is a very big point uh, that he is making. I think that's the real reason he's uh, talking about uh, the framework that's full of clutter, um, it's full of uh, libraries that are not well put together. Another one that's pretty common is when libraries aren't fantastic. So this is a negative area of JavaScript that if you have a bunch of frameworks and people are adding plugins that are not quality plugins, they're depreciated plugins, they're not done very well, and you put it inside, then you're going to have a lot of rubbish. So uh, you've seen uh, the mess that's at Angular. You've seen some of the mess that's coming at React, especially when React Native is coming in. I'll do another video more in depth. Uh, Techly just did one, why React Native is garbage. But there are reasons to use a framework and reasons not to get too much into the framework. Personally, I like to keep my framework very bare. So if I'm doing a project, I'll usually just use one framework. I'll use a bare bones kind of framework, Vue.js, and then most of the other components, I will build them out separately. But that initial part has huge amounts of benefit for going with a framework. So that's one of the reasons uh, I'm the tech lead, and that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.